Every year, tens of thousands of vehicles and passengers cross international borders via maritime routes. Unfortunately, these routes are also taken advantage of by criminal networks and foreign terrorist fighters. International terrorism is a threat that affects us all. To prevent future terrorist attacks, Interpol is dedicated to disrupting the flow of terrorist fighters into mainland Europe and North Africa. Quant au cheminement de ces combattants terroristes, c'est que le port de Marseille est un port qui assure des liaisons avec le Maghreb. Depuis le mois de décembre 2020, nous avons une liaison avec le Maroc et sinon de façon historique, nous avions des liaisons avec l'Algérie et la Tunisie. Et évidemment, ce sont ces, ces, ces provenances, ces pays de provenance euh, qui sont sous surveillance et, et pour lesquels nous exerçons euh, 100% de contrôle euh, en frontière. During Operation Neptune 2021, supported by the World Customs Organization and Frontex, Interpol deployed officers to six Mediterranean seaports and five airports to assist local authorities in screening travelers and detecting potential terrorists during the summer tourist season. If we get a hit in our database, the passenger will be stopped. He will be transferred to second line screening, which means, of course, this disrupts the moving and traveling of foreign terrorists because once we have them in custody, they are not uh, allowed to enter the country. Operation Neptune resulted in more than 650,000 searches of Interpol databases, leading to the detection of six suspected terrorists. The operation also targets other criminal activities. Quindi tutto, diciamo, ogni filiera criminale può convergere verso il mondo, diciamo, del terrorismo. Gli attentati di Atocha a Madrid erano stati compiuti da gente che aveva, come dire, stabilmente attività di tipo eh, criminale legate alla droga. Establishing possible links between organized crime groups and terrorist networks is crucial in preventing future terrorist attacks. In modo particolare diamo un'importanza rilevante alla ricerca di somme di denaro in contanti perché possono essere correlate a diverse tipologie di attività criminali. Non ultimo è il finanziamento dei gruppi terroristici, per cui ci facciamo appoggiare in questo, oltre che dai cani antidroga o antiesplosivo, ma anche cani che sono specializzati nella ricerca di denaro in contante. Through the joint effort of the National Police, Customs and Immigration Officers, a total of 29 arrests have been made for various crimes, including terrorism. Operation Neptune has seen over 650,000 checks made against Interpol databases, which resulted in one red notice hit, which saw an immediate arrest, and also five diffusions, which saw further investigative action undertaken by various member countries for terrorism-related matters. Significant seizures were also recorded, firearms, luxury vehicles and nearly 1.3 million euros worth of illegal drugs.